Good morning, guys. I hope you're having a great week. I know we usually do editing and revising on Fridays, but because we don't have school tomorrow, I thought we would go ahead and just do a real short video to go over editing and revising right now. So this is our third week of doing this. We should be pretty clear on how we edit and revise. We're gonna use cups and arms, just like we always do. So at the top of your paper or on a separate paper like I did, I want you to write cups and arms. We're gonna go through the steps. So we do editing first. So I'm gonna go through, and you guys know at this point that this is my messy handwriting. This is my fast handwriting. So I'm gonna make sure it's all clear. I'm gonna make sure everything is capitalized. So house here is capitalized because it's a proper noun, the House of Representatives. Congress is capitalized. My proper noun is capitalized. Representatives are capitalized even though most of the time they're a common noun because we're talking about the House of Representatives. That's a proper noun. Bills are lowercase because it's not a specific bill. COVID is capitalized. Crisis is lowercase, so I'm gonna make sure that that, I'm using one of my kids' colored pencils. You can use whatever you've got around. Um, it's kind of messy. I'm gonna make sure I can read that. It's a P. Um, president is capitalized because we're referring to President Trump there. All right, capitalization is good. So I'm gonna put a check. Usage, this is my subject verb agreement. Now, one issue I've noticed a lot of people messing up is if you're starting a sentence with one, then you are talking about one thing. You may be talking about a category. So one of those people, now one of those people, a lot of people are getting confused and thinking that those people is the subject, but it's not. The subject here is one. So our verb is is. One is. So sometimes it's easier if you just cover up all of the, the adverb clause, it's, or all of, the, um, all of the description of your noun. So it's one is. One of those people for me is Nancy Pelosi. So if you have a sentence that starts with one of, your verb is gonna be is, okay? The speaker of the house, do, 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 do. She is, she has, she has. This can, she stands up for which one? The bill was hard. She stood strong for what she believed in, I admire. What I'm doing right now is I'm going through and I'm looking at all of my subjects and my verbs or my predicates and making sure that they get along. She sticks, president called, she kept, I want, people are, Pelosi is, she believes, she stays, she makes, I have. Okay, so I wasn't reading every sentence, I was just reading my subject and my verb. Now my punctuation. What I'm really looking for here is that I have periods, question marks, and commas before my fanboys. That is not very dark. So I'm gonna put, make sure I can see that period there. Most of my periods are kind of light. So if you can't see them, just go ahead and mark it. Comma, fanboy. There's a dark period. Comma, fanboy, period. This should be a capital. I don't know that I can read that. So I'm gonna make sure I make it dark so I can read it. Period, for example, comma. There's another comma, comma and. Felt like I wanted to be more like her. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I've got my punctuation and then spelling. You know, most of the words in here, I'm pretty sure I knew how to spell. Conviction is the only one that was kind of a challenge for me, but I did look it up. Um, 
If you don't know how to spell something, you can use dictionary.com or you can ask your teacher or you can Google it. But if you Google, you need to make sure that you are using a reliable source like Webster's Dictionary, dictionary.com, an English website, something like that. All right, um, arms. Add sentences and words. Okay. So my introduction, I like. I'm gonna go ahead and put a check on my introduction. I'm happy with it. We don't want our introduction to be super long because it's really just introducing what we're gonna talk about. Yeah, um, so I said really twice in this paragraph and I don't like that I did that. So I said she has a really hard job. This can be, I'm gonna take out really. So that is under substitute or um, remove. It can be difficult. I don't even need another another description there. I'm just gonna say it can be difficult when people disagree with her, but she stands up for what she believes is right. And um, I've said, hold on, baby. I've said believed quite a few times here. She stood strong for what she, for what she believed was best. You know what, that's important. what she believes is right, what she believes was best. I'm gonna leave that because what we believe might not be the right thing for everybody. So she's standing up for what she believes in. Other people not, might not believe the same thing, but I think it's important that we note that this is her belief. Okay, can be super difficult. Do, 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 do. Okay, so this part where I said I want to be more like her and keep my cool when people are yelling at me, I don't really like keep my cool. It sounds kind of informal. Um, I'm just going to say stay, stay calm. So I am substituting words here. I'm substituting keep my cool for stay calm. Savannah, I'm doing a video. Please stop. Nancy Pelosi is a community leader. I admire her because she stands up for what she believes in and she stays calm during tough situations. She makes me want to be a leader like her. Now, I put a star here because I didn't like this conclusion. So I am going to take out, I have a lot of work to do and I need some more paper. So I'm just going to use the bottom of this paper and My kids are starting to be ridiculous. I apologize. Okay, so makes me want to be a leader like her. She sets a strong example for women in our country to look up to. This is why Nancy Pelosi is my role model. Now I am ending with role model because I want to make sure that I'm going back to my prompt. So this really just ends with talking about me. I have a lot of work to do, but this essay isn't about me. This essay is about Nancy Pelosi. So I'm going back to, she sets a strong example for women in our country to look up to. This is why Nancy Pelosi is my role model. I want this to be the last thought that sticks in my reader's head because that goes back to our prompt. Make sense? So I added things, I removed things. I didn't move anything, but that's okay. You're not always gonna do all of this stuff. And I substituted. All right guys, now I'm gonna do my neat and clean final draft. And then I'm gonna text it to my, te text it to my teacher. Have a fabulous weekend guys. I'm really excited to see everybody going through the writing process and everybody working hard. I see really big growth in your writing. Keep up the hard work. Big hugs. Love, Miss S.